Hi guys, tonight we're going to be working on the bearing edge finder kit. Tonight we'll make up one of the edge finders. We'll, uh, we'll make up the 3 8 inch one. There's our 01 tool steel, 5 inches long. And our ABEC 9 bearing. Here's the edge finder assembly. The bearing gets pressed onto the shank. The bearing is 20 millim 22 millimeters OD, 8 millimeters ID, and is seven millimeters thick. Tonight we're working on the three-eighths collet. Our, our stock is oversized. I'm seeing a point three eight four So close to our nominal call it size, but oversized. The fact that it's oversized means that we can get these two diameters perfectly concentric. We'll put this in the three jaw, support it with the tail stock, and turn both diameters in a single operation. This will give us absolute concentricity. The first thing we're going to do is center drill the end. So we'll have the work chucked up, choked right up inside the chuck as we drill the, the end. And when we draw it out of the chuck to do our the majority of our turning, we want to have that same orientation in the three jaws. So that's the purpose of the line. First thing is to face and center drill our shank. Let's go over to the later. There's the work in the, th in the three jaw. Chucked up close for center drilling. May not show in the video, but our line here is orientated directly under the logo of the chuck. Facing and, and, and drilling, center drilling. Nice flat surface for the center drill to start on. Now we can draw the work out, keeping the line oriented again uh, oriented by the logo I'll bring in the tail center so we're going to turn the the main part the main body of the shank to fit a 3 8 collet 0.375. Our stock is 0.384. That's 11 thousandths over size. So I'm going to find the stock with my tool and remove 
four thousandths for starters. I'll uh, advance the cross slide four thousandths and set my dial to exactly zero as a reference. I'm going to use power feed to get a nice finish. Here goes. There is zero. I'm going to advance four thousand. Set my dial to zero. Okay, getting a decent finish. So my cross slide dial is at zero. This end I'm getting 0 0.378. I'm just going to take the fuzzies off with the scotch brake. Quite a variation in the finish over that length. Point three seven eight eight. Point three seven nine two. I'm going to take three thousandths off. Remove the fuzzies. And what do we end up at? Ooh. This never works. That's very nice. Uh, Plus or minus a couple of tenths. Oh, we're fat in the middle though. Two and a half thou over in the middle. Four tenths under. I'm going to take some... Uh, emery cloth and see if I can get that center diameter this center area down a bit and clean up this finish it's going to be fine two and a half thou over there I'll start with some 250 and move up to 400 grit put a rag down to protect the abrasives from getting into my ways Two forty to start.
center area. I'm over by pretty much exactly one thousandths. The spec on an RE call it two tenths under. One tenth under. That'll work. The spec on an RE call it is plus or minus one thousandths of an inch. So now we're ready to do our bearing area. We don't take this out and check it in the collet or anything. We have to leave this set up till we get both diameters done. Okay, I just want to establish a line for about the length we need. We need the area for the bearing and we're going to put a lead in area for the press fit on as well. This is looking good here. Just going to put a line there for starting. <laughs> Okay, so now we're doing our area where the bearing press fits on. I'm going to remove ten thousandths of an inch and uh, zero my dial. Set my carriage stop. Remove the fuzzies. Zero on my dial gives me. Zero on my dial gives me 0.364. I'm going to take 20,000 saw. Seven. Three tenths shy of our mark, nicely within our range. That is fantastic. So now we're going to do the lead in area. That's just a area to get us started in the bearing when we do the press fit. I'm going to advance the cross slide two thousandths of an inch. And I'm just going to Give that a little love with uh, some 400 grit. Just to make sure there's no burr between those two. I don't want to change the... Uh, where the bearing fit is, just down the... Uh, 
Our work has never heated up, so we are good to. Uh, we're taking measurements at room temperature. Not uh, the work is not hot. If you missed this press fit diameter, if you got if you went too small, don't worry. Just try again next door. There's more than enough material here. You think of a, a regular uh, kickover type center finder they're like this long got apple stock here that you can get another kick at the cat so to speak we can now uh, finally remove our tail stock And we're ready to part off. That's better. There we have it, guys. We're looking good. I'll uh, clean up this end off camera. There it is, cleaned up and uh, a generous chamfer. This is going to be in and out of the collet often. So we'll make it easy on ourselves. There we go, flat in the middle. Two tenths under. Three tenths over. On our press fit area, we're looking for 316, 315.6. We're looking good. There's our R8 call it. Feels real nice in there. Uh, like I was saying, a generous chamfer on the end here to help her get going. Okay, I'll set up the press. Okay, guys, we're at the press. Here's our pressing arbor. It's got a raised area in the center so that the Pressing forces are transmitted through the inner race of the bearing and it's not affecting the outer race. When uh, so we have our arbor, we have our bearing, our lead in, our lead in area is working perfectly. We're nice and vertical. There we have it. No damage to the bearing. She slid home nicely. I'm going to go to the lathe and uh, Trim this off close now. Be right back. 
There you have it guys. Trimmed up nicely. Let's call it nicely. Thanks for watching guys. My store the link to my store is in the description. You can get the kit for the three piece bearing edge finder from the link at my store. That's it for now guys. Next time we'll have a look at using it and we'll check the repeatability of this this simple little edge finder. You'll be surprised. I guarantee it. Thanks for watching.